There's an old saying in Australia about facing up to a momentous challenge. It's like going to bat after Bradman. Welcome to Amazing Adelaide, where the adult Don Bradman lived and died. Whenever he'd go into bat here at the Adelaide Oval, word would quickly sweep the streets. And in waves, the office workers and labourers and school kids would come tearing down the hill and into the stands. That's precisely what's happening tonight as history is written. Sporting folklore, the first ever official day-night test. Pink balls and all. Australia versus New Zealand. Everyone's excited. The players, they're excited. The captains, the spectators. Can the Black Caps square the series? The first three days is a sellout. Everyone, everywhere, the whole city's excited, a buzz. As the sun sets and day becomes night, Test cricket dares to go where it has never gone before, into the night. Sparkling under the towering lights of the Adelaide Oval, the majestic Adelaide Oval. A place long familiar with hard acts to follow. Isn't that the truth? Welcome, everybody. The first day's play in the third Commonwealth Bank test match between Australia and New Zealand here at the Adelaide Oval. And the pink ball is behaving just as it should. No problems. In fact, some very good Australian bowling has set up an interesting evening. All sorts of possibilities tonight as we focus on floodlights. Look at that. A night test cricket. It really is quite something. Clouds are, are coming in a bit. I think those lights are going to have more effect a little earlier than some people uh, might have thought. A huge crowd here, 44,000 in the ground uh, already. And they're talking about another four or 5,000 walk up for tonight. There's the scoreboard. New Zealand having chosen to bat seven for 173. And Shane, who did that voiceover, is, uh, is with me. It's going fine. Yeah, it is. And when you look at the score, 7 for 170 odd, and uh, you think, oh, the pink ball's nipped around, it's swung all over the place. Well, it hasn't. Australia have bowled extremely well. There's been a few loose shots from New Zealand. But really, it's just been some good bowling from Australia, and it's really nicely set up. You couldn't ask for a better scenario going to the first ever day-night test match under lights here. I think what New Zealand should do is throw the bat around, try and get 50 or 60 quickly, and, and rather get bowled out and then declare. All 